The Reedville Switcher is an MBTA equipment move that shuff- Stop, stop, stop. Nathan, you literally have 15 videos on this train. Okay, okay, fine. But quickly, for anyone who may not understand, oh, come on. Reedville Switcher MBTA equipment move runs from South Station side to the North Station side six times per week. And I will never get over it. I swear this kid, oh my God. So, if you're lost, I recommend you check out one of my more explanation ask videos on the Reedville Switcher in the description below. But for you informed folks, let's get right to it. It's early September of 2022, and I have just returned to Boston for a new school year. And there is no better way to kick off a school year than by seeing a train. Today's early September Reedville switcher is running late around 5 p.m. and is almost out of crew time. With GP40MC1119 doing the hard work, the switcher cruises towards the 3.3 switch. At the milepost 3.3 switch, which is the connection from the MBTA's Worcester line to the MBTA's Grand Junction branch, the Reedville switcher waits for permission to unlock the switch. The milepost 3.3 switch is located under the busy I-90 overpass and can be viewed from a place I like to call the Lot E Overlook. So he's performing the switch. After receiving permission to enter the Worcester line, the conductor opens the switch. Permission to open up at 3.3 because their timer is good. Unlocks it. Unlocked. Now, the conductor signals to the crew that the switch is all set, giving them permission to back up onto the Worcester line. And there it is, the hand signal. Notice something strange? That's right, 1119 has gone silent. Due to some PTC issues, the crew decided to pull with the backwards HSP46 2011 instead of performing the normal push operation. It was pretty cool seeing the HSP46 rev up and perform a not so everyday railroad operation. Exactly one week later, I was again fulfilling my duties as Mr. Reedville Switcher. Today's operation went a little something like this. The crew showed up for work around 9.30 in the morning, did some switching, ate some lunch, and left Reedville for the Boston Engine Terminal. Once arriving at South Station, it was too late for them to cut in front of Amtrak P449.
and MBTA Worcester Line Local 2509. Here at the CP3 signals, they finally pass us, engines light. On this day, I was feeling adventurous, so alongside the Tripod Mafia, as railroaders tend to call us Grand Junction Rail fans, we biked over to the Memorial Drive Graffiti Bridge. Hopping onto our blue bikes, we embarked on the chase of a lifetime. Because Albany Street parallels the Grand Junction, it makes it quite easy to chase trains here. It was pretty cool going faster than a real train. We barely made it to the Pacific Street crossing before the switcher cleared. What a workout! And that's all for this day. So, what's left? The other trains you will see in this video are not actually the Reedville Switcher, but instead, random, miscellaneous extras that I managed to catch in the past month. Enjoy! First off, in mid-October, I got word of a unique MBTA move that was ordered to deliver five cars of rail to the Grafton and Upton Railroad. Knowing it was to leave Reedville around 7, I got to the scene around 7.30. Unfortunately, due to some issue I am not aware of, the extra actually never ran, and I was left waiting in the cold for two whole hours. I guess that's what rail fanning is all about. But it gets worse. Only one day later, after a school event, I went out to catch the MBTA's power wash train a unique train that washes leaf residue off of railheads in the fall. Sadly, due to a slow green line ride, I just barely missed the wash extra and had to settle with this shot across Beacon Street. I guess that's another example of what rail fanning is all about. You don't always get exactly what you wish for. But fortunately for me, I still got lucky in the end. A couple of weeks after these two unfortunate events occurred, I was able to track down and catch the rescheduled MBTA rail train's return to Boston. This consisted of a light locomotive 1137 running long hood forward from Grafton. Seen here is MBTA 516, the train they would follow into Boston. And here is the rail train. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this new, conversational type of video, and let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, for a quick update, I have started a Patreon for this channel, link in description. If you enjoy these videos and want to help support my making of them, as well as gaining special access to new videos and other perks, 
please consider subscribing to that. But until next time, I will see you all again soon out there on the rails.